Smallville. We're on season two, episode twenty. This one is called Witness. So guys, I definitely cannot wait to see this next episode. Like, dude, that dude Paul or whatever, I think that was his name, the guy the stalker who's stalking uh Dr. Bryce. Holy crap, like he he kept stalking her. He he kept going, you know, popping up. I was even creeped up. I felt what she was feeling and luckily uh you know Lex was around, of course, Clark as well. Uh Lex was going to kill him. He was going to kill him because, you know, uh he hurt uh, uh Dr. Bryce and I don't blame him. I don't blame how he was feeling, but I'm glad he made the right choice in not doing it. But he was thinking it, and I could I could feel from this, you know, from the character how he was feeling. It was just intense. Yeah, he did decide not to really like go forward with the case. He told he he uh, I think Paul, you know, he pleaded insanity, and yeah, that's what he's doing. Like he's getting you know some help. Lex Luthor and Doctor Bryce are uh, engaged, which I'm happy about. Uh, they 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 do seem like they fit with each other. They seem like they love each other. It, you can feel it from both of them on both sides. Clark had to do community service and because he was, you know, involved with police, uh, you know, activity. Yeah, if you, we have a new sheriff in town. I can't remember her name, but yeah, she's kind of nuts as well. But yeah, she, that's what she does. She's a police officer. She's doing her job. But yeah, they, she kept seeing him like everywhere, you know, they go. She did tell him not to basically, you know, get involved with police activities, even though they technically made a citizen's arrest because you can do that. Citizens can do that. Of course, uh, Lana, you know, was able to beat, you know, beat up the guy that, you know, came into the uh, restaurant uh, before with the three guys and tried to basically, yeah, basically rape her. <laughs> That's what basically they were trying to do. That's all I'm seeing. Like, let's take it to the back and do something like that was basically what they were trying to do. You see her, you know, kick his ass and I was really freaking happy about that. Anyway, guys, uh, before this video begins, guys, I want to thank Jacob for sponsoring this video through the Patreon page. Make sure you just go on the page to get the full reaction and also consider supporting the channel as well. Anyway, guys, let's get into this next episode for Smallville. Really putting in a lot of time in this equestrian show. I didn't realize how important it was to you. Well, I'm inviting the Smalls to come and watch me ride in this weekend's competition. Living my life waiting for the other shoe to drop. You deserve to be happy. Thanks, Clark. Oh. Clark, what happened to you? Oh, she saw that too? Story deadline. My article about the debate team. Oh, Chloe. I, I'm really sorry. I caught up helping Lana. I'll get it to you first thing tomorrow morning. Fortunately, Clark, I needed it tonight. To fill in the hole, I had to blow up the lunch menu to a 60-point type. Chloe, I'll make it up to you. I promise. I can't say that makes me feel any better, given your previous track record on promises. I'm always just your backup plan, and I'm tired of it. That's ridiculous. Is it? Well, if that's the way you feel, then maybe I should quit. Maybe you should. Damn, they're having a fight? Fine. I quit. What the heck is that? Whoa! How are they so... Okay, they obviously got powers or something. Hey, super strong. Yeah, patch on his head. How could they do that? What, beat the crap out of me? Clark. I'm sorry, Dad. It just, it hurt. It actually hurt. What'd you tell the police? I left before they got there. Son, you witnessed a crime. You have an obligation to report it. To put myself back on Sheriff Adams' radar? I don't think so. Yeah, bye. Besides, what was I gonna tell her? I used my x-ray vision to see the plate in his head? He was wearing a class ring. I think he goes to Smallville High. Okay, yeah, you can definitely find him there. Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah. He has something that's giving him the strength. All right, give me some heat. Nice swing. Yeah. Eric's got the highest batting average in Smallville High history. He's under some pharmaceutical enhancement. Yep. Thinking steroids? Nah. Right now, I don't know what to think. Making that shit, man. Tell me it's working, boys. That's incredible. With a score like last night, we'll have enough to take it out on the street. <laughs> Who do we have? Hold on. Were you following me, Kent? I know you robbed that truck. Oh, yeah, it's like kryptonite. That's why it hurt him. But you see, I'm smart, too. Yeah, damn. He goes, our problem goes with it. 
What? Oh. Oh no. You're only trying to murder him. Alright, let's pack up. Let's get out of here. Wow. Freaking murder him, basically. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Woo! Marsh, drop the bat. What is this? I don't want to tell you again. Drop the bat, turn around. We're under arrest for assault and armed robbery. What are you talking about? We got an anonymous tip. We looked through your locker. No, you can't look through my locker without a warrant. Yes, again, Flick. We don't need a warrant to look through a student's locker. Don't worry now. You can use your one call to phone home. <laughs> Okay, the only time you're ever this quiet. This is probably looking like, how are you still alive? This is small. It's not what you think, Lon. I am not cheating on my husband. I know that's what you thought, but the man you saw me with was just an old friend of mine from college who happens to be my divorce attorney. Divorce? We never mentioned anything. That's because he doesn't know. At least, not yet. Damn! Why are you divorcing him? Through it all, I knew I was Henry's priority. And he met you. I am not sure that's true anymore. What? I never meant to come between you. Lana, you are all he talks about. I guess I am telling you this because I'm admitting defeat. You win. This is not like this. This is small. I don't want to win. Goodbye, Lana. Wow, what a... Like, that's crazy. So much for an interview. I admire your dedication. Though I suspect the hospital might not be quite so uh, understanding. God, Lionel. Miss Sullivan, isn't it? You know who I am? I've been following your work at the Torch for quite some time. It's you, you came uh, hoping Mr. O'Connor would confirm his uh, connection with Luther Corp. He's too damn smart. I think you just did that for him. Admire your zeal. And your work at the torch is exemplary. Trust me, you're looking for a mystery where there's none to be found. Liar. <laughs> your father sent you, you can tell him I had nothing to do with the robbery. No, no, my father doesn't know I'm here. I'm sure his representatives will be around, though. I, I came to talk about your future. I understand there's interest from some big league scouts. Yeah, there's more than just interest. All right, there's college reps, there's agents. I that I even have a clue what you're talking about. What's in it for me? Yeah, obviously he wants to know what the hell is in there. What? Chloe, what happened? What do you care? I want to help. No matter what it takes, we'll get the torch back on his feet. There is no we anymore, Clark. There's only me. And this paper was my whole life. Everyone and everything let me down, and now I don't even have that anymore. Where are you going? To find a friend. I can't. I hear the paper's not going to press. Did you do this? I don't know how the hell you got out of that fire. You better back off. I hate to think something happened to those wholesome parents of yours. Oh! Clark! Clark! Damn! Your mother. How's mom doing? She's got some minor cuts and bruises. I still want to get her checked out. Wait for my signal before you start following. Nobody moves without my direct order. Uh. Damn! Clark knocked his ass out. Anybody follow you? Well, I didn't see anyone, but we better hurry up with the switch. The loser's bound to have it bugged. Uh, woo! Damn! How's it feel, Clark? Nice! Kent, it's done. Ooh. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, bury him. Lex? Clark, how are your parents doing? Just fine. They got home from Metropolis last night. And now that Eric's arrested, it looks like your plan came off without a hitch. So it seems. The intriguing thing is, my people had nothing to do with it. And who did? No one knows. Marsh and his friends aren't talking, but they were found unconscious, and the stolen meteor rocks are still unaccounted for. Who do you think has them? I have my suspicion. 
Watch, he knows he's looking at him like, I already know. I already know it's you. Lana? Miss Sullivan. Lionel, what are you doing? Your principal told me you might be here. What's this? I call it the wall of weird. I'll come to the point, Miss Sullivan. I'd like to help you rebuild. I've instructed the Luther Corp Foundation to make a donation to your school marked toward rebuilding and updating the journalism department. Mr. Luther, I'm, I'm confused. The journalist in me has to ask why. I'm impressed with your um, willingness to explore alternative ideas. You interned at the uh, Daily Planet this summer, didn't you? Yeah. Mm, well, I have a little influence there. Maybe um, a column to introduce your unique point of view. Oh, God. I don't understand why the most powerful man in the city is interested in helping me. We're after the same thing, Miss Sullivan. The truth. Perhaps, with my help, we could uh, oh, God. make history together. Mm -mm -mm. What's his plan? He's always sl he's slick, man. There's more to this. Okay, uh, what is freaking Lionel Luther up to? Like, he's obviously up to uh, up to something. Because every time he pays money to something, he's always gonna want something back. All I can think about is is what he's gonna use. What is he gonna use Chloe for? That's what I'm thinking. Like, what is he trying to use the journalist? Like, cause if he he's gonna redo, he's gonna make a donation, redo the whole uh the torch and stuff like the whole pretty much her whole area what is he trying to do what is he trying to prove or control i don't know he's up to something i know he is because he's always got something under his sleeve chloe is right it's kind of weird why are you coming to me why are you helping me type of look like he she has that look the entire way but yeah i mean seeing a uh, uh clark you know get thrown in the fire by uh the guy that basically could become you know he's really strong uh, through the basically the kryptonite where they melt it down they use it to basically become strong that was pretty crazy i mean it was pretty crazy when definitely when he came out obviously he was he was naked so he lost all his clothes but yeah it was definitely tough for clark to uh, defeat him because of you know, the kryptonite so yeah clark and chloe's friendship is pretty much strained at this point it's not it's on hold that's all pretty much on hold and they basically need to figure out how to become friends again or to I don't know, to get along again, because they're not getting along at all, and yeah, they basically stopped their friendship at this point. I mean, on top of that, uh, Lana basically had to stop her relationship, kind of, not really, but kind of stop, you know, put the father and daughter thing on hold, because basically Henry's wife is just, pre you know, freaking upset, because, you know, she wants to be the center of attention, you know, with, you know, her husband, you know, she wants to be, she wants to have, you know, the attention as well, and all he could talk about is Lana. So I can understand her point of view, you know, definitely when uh, Lana came in, and she was pretty pissed about that. At the same time, she's kind of selfish in a way because it's like, this is his daughter. He hasn't seen her. He hasn't been around her. It's like, don't you understand that? But it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction. Also, consider supporting the channel as well. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next Smallville.